Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is a single gene from five related species of leaf hopper was compared and nucleotide differences between the genes are as shown in the table. So here's a table and here's a question. Which of the following phylogenetic trees best shows the correct evolutionary relationship between the leaf hoppers? First of all, what we can see in this table, nucleotide differences in the same gene between five species and we compare five species against each other. Of course, when we compare, for example, species one and one, there are going to be zero difference. Or when we compare species two and two, there are going to be zero difference. That explains why we have nothing in this diagonal line and why we don't have anything here, because numbers here are going to be just repetition of the numbers that we have above this diagonal line. For example, here we compare species one and two, and here we are going to compare species two and one. And of course, we are going to get the same number when we compare one and two, or two and one. We are going to get the same one here. So in order to avoid clutter, we just don't use these cells. Now let's find species which has minimum number of mutations and this is going to be species one and two. As you see, only one mutation or one nucleotide difference when we compare the gene of the species one and species two. That means that on the phylogenetic tree, the species have to be very close. So in this phylogenetic tree, species one and two very close, very close here, here, but here, as you see, the closest species are three and five and not one and two. So should we exclude this variant or not? Actually, so far we shouldn't exclude because for example, let's check next couple of species with minimal number of mutations. And this is going to be between species three and five, only two mutations. As you see, these numbers are so close, almost as close as species one and two. So now let's check, for example, here, in this phylogenetic tree, species three and five are far away. So this is going to be wrong variant right away because three and five have to be very close. Now let's check phylogenetic tree B and species three here and species five also very far away. So this is also wrong phylogenetic tree, we can cross out it right away. And on the phylogenetic tree C, species three and five separated by short distance and also species one and two. So, so far it is going to be the best variant, but let's check this variant also. Species three and five are very close. And as you remember, species one and two also have to be close even closer than species three and five, but they are shown here to have longer passes, longer branches. Now take a look, according to this phylogenetic tree, the distance between species three and five and between species four have to be maximum. And according to this phylogenetic tree, this distance between species three and five and species four should be somewhere in the middle, but not maximum range. And according to our table between species three and four, here we have almost maximum distance, which is 19 units. So let me highlight 19 units here between species three and four. And that give us information that this phylogenetic tree is the correct and this phylogenetic tree, which give us much shorter distance between species three and four is wrong. Let's also check between species five and four. According to this phylogenetic tree, the distance have to be maximum. But according to this phylogenetic tree, the distance have to be somewhere in the middle. So species five and four. And as you see, the distance is also one of the maximum 
distance here. So 5 and 4 would be separated by this distance, which is maximum. So as you see, the only correct answer here is going to be answer C. Some of you may think why numbers between species 3 and 4 and 5 and 4, which have to be the same because the same distance, why these numbers are different and not the same? Because this is accumulation of genetic change and it doesn't work, uh, molecular clock doesn't work like clock which hangs on your wall. It's just approximation. So numbers can slightly fluctuate here. But still, we can expect the strong relationship between time and accumulation of mutations. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.